Dawson Rider YouTube, Dawson Rider here with my review of the Deluxe Orion Battler from Uchu Sentai Q Ranger. This is the big mecha of the year. It's this giant ship here, and then we are it's going to get a mecha mode, obviously. It'd be weird if it didn't. Like that would be a way out of left field. And it doesn't really have a major combined mode with the other mecha. You can use them um, in various ways, which I'll get to here in, in a little bit but there's no real combination with any of them. Um, one of the formations that has you putting various Qtama here, you know, on the box does show you basically putting the other three core mech behind it, but I'm not gonna show that just because all it involves is me placing a thing in here. Um, it doesn't really involve any mechanisms or anything, but like that's the closest it gets, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, to start things off, it does come with two Qtama, the one that's just sitting right here on its own, which is a special Qtama, which you can see has, uh, basically all their symbols on it, um, and then you get uh, this one here, which is actually Orion's Qtama. I'm gonna cut away real quick to showing off their looks okay, and sound. So we got the good old Size of Blaster in here to do our sound demos. Uh, let's go over Orion's first, because I said so. This is Orion's. It's a little bit... Let's go over Orion's first. This is Orion's. Brilliant commentary, Dawson. I see why you do this. Uh, anyway, so it's done in a, a gold color as the surrounding rather than the sort of standard silver gray, which looks kind of nice. It's got a really cool little, you know, Orion symbol there that's very reminiscent of the ship, obviously. There's its unhinged mode. Not really unhinged, but yes. And then here's its light-up mode, which, you know, you'll get here, which is actually looks really neat. Um, you'll see uh, Shishi Red Orion in the cockpit there, which is that's what you'll get if you put it in, you know, the mecha or whatever. Anyway, so let's go ahead and show it. And as usual, I don't show it in the others because it's not a reader, so. Oh my god, it's happening. Oh! That was actually hilarious timing. Like, I wish it was for the attack, but like, I was kind of reacting to a lot of that roar noise, and then stuff just happened to fall over. I'm definitely leaving that in, because I find it to be hilarious. Anyway, so here's a special Qtama. As I said, it's got all the symbols for everybody. You can see it all throughout, which it's really cool looking, actually, and it's got that little sparkly bits and, and stuff. And then if you feel like that, just boring, like, boom, just lie, and then boom, everyone. Anyway, so that's really neat. I dig that. And then, here we go. Hold on. Focus needs to happen first. There we go. It looks like Voltron almost, just like the way I saw it at first for a second. The little thing in the top. Anyway, but... Uh, anyway, sorry, that was too much. This is a weird review, guys, and I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's go ahead and stick it in. You know how it is. There we go. I love how it says Voyager. Like, I know it always sounds like it's saying Voyager, but this one just like Voyager. I don't know. It's funny, okay?
Yeah, so that's that. So that's actually really neat. That has a lot of different sounds, and having these two together uh, and it gives you even more bang for your buck w with the Mecca, especially when one of the Qtama actually has a lot of sounds to it. All right, so let's get back to the regular scheduled review. Okay, so now that that's done, we can get this out of the way and actually just go over uh, this on its own. When you get it out of the box, there's really not too much assembly. You get this large piece, this, which with that is the actual uh, Orion Voyager uh, that doesn't have like the ship involved and stuff. And then a little back piece, which we'll get to in a second, which is, you know, the thrusters slash the helmet. But it's really self-explanatory stuff. But this is pretty much the gist of the look of it all together. Um, overall, like in ship mode, like design-wise, I'm not too huge of a fan. I don't hate it, I just find it to be kind of boring. The original Orion ship was definitely weird, but at least it was unique and like, it stood out. I do kind of like that the Orion Voyager is like kind of this separate like flying club that attaches to it, but the, the base itself honestly is really boring. Both in design and then the toy just color-wise, it's just a few pieces of plastic and it, I don't know, I just find it to be a rather boring design. Um, it looks kind of like a low rent version of the Battle Fleet uh, or the, the Voyager from, which, oh, that's actually really funny, Dive Voyager from Bokenger. But you can see there, that little piece is attachable, and then that, that's the little thrusters. You can have it be like, psh, realistic thruster noises, or brrr, that's not thrusting, that sounded. I just said that's not thrusting. Anyway, so yeah, you, you get the picture. Uh, it's it's really nothing to write home about for me. Um, it's quite a large size. I mean, it seems a little bit smaller than some of the Mecha, but it's probably, I'd say, a little bit bigger. At least it feels than the, the whale from last year. That This sounds just like dirtier ever since I talked about the thrusting. Um, it can roll, which is its best feature. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, that's a thing. So. Uh, it, it does have sounds, which you'll activate by pressing this button, which we'll get to in a second. Calm down, guys. God, I know. But, so, uh, one of its cooler features is this bit here. Actual thrusting. No, but it's used to basically attach the Qtama here. So, twist it and shout. I'm just kidding. That was a terrible joke, and I, I totally understand the, the 35 of you that just left. So then put it in here, and boom. It's a Voyager attacher. Unfortunately, it doesn't work the opposite way. Like, even if you try really hard, I guess like, look, it worked. No, it didn't, it can't even do that. My, my puny strength isn't enough. But, so that's what you can do there. And then you have the Orion Voyager on its own and it's like, Orion Voyager, having Orion Voyager adventures. I'm a flying club. Anyway, wait, I'm a flying club, going to the club. Okay, too far. I'm sorry, I'm really weird in this one and I don't know why. Sometimes I have recording days where I start, I'm like, I know I'm gonna be weird. This one came out of nowhere. I just did a weird jingle for Orion Voyager. Anyway, so that's actually pretty cool. I actually really dig that a lot. And to add to it, you can actually put the various Voyagers here, which can become legs and stuff and arms. Um, and there's a little like coded thing where it shows you with pictures which ones can go where. And in case that was too difficult for you, it actually comes with a little pamphlet. So it shows you what you can do. Uh, because I'm a lazy bones, I only brought in one uh, to show this off. But here, we'll just put chameleon in there. That's where chameleon goes. And then we'll get chameleon's, um, I almost said Gaia memory. That was weird. That's not even close. It's like the wrong shape. And then watch this. So exciting. <laughs> And so you can do that, and then not pull it off. But you can do it for everything here. So for all three slots, you can put in any three. I think that's actually pretty neat. I actually dig that quite a bit. I find it to be pretty entertaining, and I think it makes a great use of uh, the Qtama gimmick. So despite not liking the design of the ship, I actually really quite enjoy that. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the sounds. There's actually quite a bit of sounds. I believe I have it on the first mode, so. We got the picture blasting. I think that was the last mode. I think I have it on the first mode, shows last mode, so let's recycle. There we go. That's what I'm gonna call the first default mode. Totally spoiled the rest of them. I know, I can't remember a time when this wasn't happening either. Oh, 
Okay, that sound, I wanted to get to that one again, because I do not like that sound. It reminds me of the tornado warning sounds. When those go off, I'm, my stomach instantly drops here. So anyway, that's basically the first mode. I believe uh, the second mode is basically it has sounds for every Voyager. It'll go through this whole thing and Raptor will announce it. It'll say the name of the Voyager and then you get a second sound after it says docking and you will get a voice clip for each of the Q Rangers except for Sergi. Um, about halfway through, I might be start skipping, not skipping the sounds, but after I get the initial unique sounds for the first sound, I might go ahead and skip straight to the second one because outside of the clips that announce the Voyager and then have the voice clips, all of them are like the same beeps and boops. So just to save time around halfway through, I might start skipping if I can do it in a way that I don't mess it up, which that means I won't be able to. But let's get started anyway. I just explained myself for like a minute straight. So Ryan's is first. Scrabble, wait, I don't have the game. So that's for when the Orion thing actually takes off. Alright, press it again. Shishi. So you see what I mean? All the sounds after the Voyager name are the same. We get it. There we go. Streamline this, Chiz. Like how you can see my hand ready out of the corner, just waiting to press the button. The real question is, can you guys hear that lawnmower in the background? The other real question is, how much fun are you guys having while I sit here and press buttons while drinking water and looking out the window? Damn it, lawnmower. So how about Legends this season, right? It's so much fun. Flash, not so much.
You guys excited for the new Star Wars? I am. Let's let this one play one all through. And not... Almost all the way through. Thanks, lawnmower. Okay, and that's it. Now it's cycling back. Okay, we got it, Raptor. Settle down and lawnmower guy. You're being the worst right now. Okay, I waited a few minutes and I think he's gone. I apologize about the lawnmower guy. I really thought he was gone. But anyway, uh, that was actually really neat. I really like that they have... Uh, actual voice clips for pretty much all the Q Rangers, which is neat, especially when I think about stuff like the PR toys where they have like generic little kid voice or like the Voltron ones where they don't really sound like it. So it's nice to actually get the clips. And if it's not their actual voice actors, it's really close. But regardless, even though there's a lot of sameness in the sounds, it's actually nice to get one for everyone and it kind of makes it a little more feature rich. I'm going to go ahead and transform it into its mecha form now and then do the rest of the sounds that it offers just for a little change of scenery. It's really simple. It's one of those Basically, you just stand it up ones. Uh, so just take this off um, and then press this here because otherwise it's going to be sticking up funny. And then you're going to set it up this way and then just pop his legs open and then we'll pull up here a little bit. And then this, what choink, I don't even know what, ch what choink is. And then fold this down to reveal his face and then psh, rocket noises. Dang it. Wait, psh, there we go. Actual psh. Okay, and then this just snaps in like that and then you can bend it there and there you have its mecha form which I actually do like it's it's been growing on me it's still probably not one of my absolute favorite key ranger designs but it's it's been growing on me and I think it's pretty cool and I actually think the toy is pretty nice uh, you know these are usually the most brickish of all the sentai mech the, the big release of the year and this guy isn't an exception but I feel like he pulls it off a little bit better than some I think mainly because his design is bulky in the show and some of the problem you run into sometimes with the show to the toy is that the blockiness really shows especially in these last ones um, and like I said, not that it doesn't here, but I think because its design is bulky in the show, um, it comes off better here. It, it just looks a little bit sleeker than some of them and doesn't look quite as blocky. So I think they did a really good job on it, and I actually just really dig the way it looks. I, I ended up liking this, like, in its mecha mode more than I thought I would once I actually had it in person. So there's that, which I think is nice. You can basically just move his arms around, and then this can obviously bend as feature of his transformation and whatnot. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that, for whatever reason, and let's go through the rest of the sounds. So that's basically the sounds for this mode. Now we got one more, which I spoiled at the beginning. And it'll just keep recycling that same sound. And I, if I didn't mention it, which I don't think I did, to switch between the different sound modes, you just hold down the button, like with Moats Q Ranger merchandise. Okay, before we get to the final verdict, we do have one more mode to show in the ship mode, so let's go ahead and get it back. I spared that. you the five seconds that it took me to do that, uh, but the only other thing I wanted to show off is these little slots back here can be used. I mean, I'm sure you could put any of them there if you really tried, but they can primarily be used to house these guys um, sitting in a really weird crouched position. And now now that I'm 
I should have done silver first since he needs to go on the other side. And it's a bit difficult to show. Oh, I forgot to put his arm away. That's embarrassing. We've all been there, right guys? No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so this I find to actually be pretty hilarious. And I, his leg came a little bit apart. But uh, mainly because... Unless there's something I haven't seen or forgot or whatever, I haven't had much occasion to see or actually do myself putting these guys in a weird yoga pose. And it's kind of hilarious. Like, it's just, it's really funny to me. Um, and then you can, so let me, there you get the picture there. Da, 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 they're sitting there, so I'm just going to leave that like that. Unfortunately, he beats guy's going to have to take a back seat. Um, but take this and spin it around so that this flat surface is here. And boom goes the dynamite. There you have that, and then you could put some other guys here if you want, and that's like another formation, which this is pretty much as close as it gets for like combining modes, which is neat. Again, I find that to be pretty entertaining, like for like this, oh, let's form this awesome cannon and destroy the monster. Now just crouch down like this, and it looks like they're just huddling for strength, so it's just really weird. Um, but I feel like this shows that they maybe could have done something more to possibly incorporate a way for all of the Qtama to situate off of it in a way, uh, to make it look like a cool sort of Ultra Zord formation, um, and kind of a almost Thunder Ultra Zord style but I don't know. It's kind of neat, but that's pretty much all you get. Like, you could put three legs here if you want, and then surround with the mecha, or whatever, but there's nothing really, like, official combining, uh, at least right now, unless there's some sort of huge surprise that they announced, which I don't think they could, because I own the toy, so I would know what to do with it. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this. Overall, I actually ended up enjoying this a lot more than I thought I would. Not that I hated it or anything, or thought I was gonna be really upset with it, but I just had more fun than I thought I would. Like I said, I don't really care so much for the individual uh, battleship mode, but I do really like the way they make use of this sort of Kutama thrusting gimmick, which sounds really weird when I say it like that. And I actually think the mecha mode looks really neat once I actually had it in person. And I think that it has uh, a really nice amount of sounds to sort of make you know, it worth your while. It's still the more expensive end of the mecha, especially since the shipping can be almost as much as the actual robot. So I can recommend it if you really want to get it right away, but otherwise, as just a general piece of advice, I would wait for the price to go down so that the shipping will sort of, the shipping will end up being more expensive than the toy, but it'll save you overall. Or possibly wait for Amazon because sometimes a year later they get these for an overall solid price with free shipping. I think I got, uh, uh, Tokyo's, uh, final mech that way like I ended up getting it for like 70 bucks total um, Like with free shipping so I, I would just wait on it even though I like it and can recommend it to fans I think it's just general good advice to wait on something like this But anyway until next time don't forget to like comment subscribe Dawson Ryder signing out